let's get that tent out. Down here somewhere. It's all my cooking equipment. On with the four person tent this trip. It's gonna be nice and spacious. There we go. This afternoon's mission is gonna be to catch myself some dinner. I would really love to get a fish or a, or a squid or something to cook up. I've got my cooker here, so I'll do something hopefully on the frying pan. And um, yeah, that's the aim of this afternoon, just to enjoy it out here. Beautiful conditions. It's a little bit windy, but cracking spot. Rugged up. <laughs> Let's go. So we get the snaps. Alrighty, guys. So I've just rocked up to where I'm gonna snap a fish. I'm gonna throw this gulp shrimp rigged up on a 112 jig head, so super light fishing. I'm gonna be fishing this little channel here. I'm in the middle of it at the moment. And there's a shallow section of reef there and a shallow section of reef on the other side of that marker. What's happening is the tide is going out, so this is like draining out. And I'm hoping that the snapper are just sitting on the edges and I can get myself one for dinner. Love to get onto a few snaps. I haven't really, oh, haven't really snapped a fish for a while. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, I lost it. That was first cast. It's back. And I think it might be a pike or a grinner, which is not what I want. Just feels like it. Yeah. Oh, it's fire. It's a little one. All right, good sign. Here we go, that's what we're looking for. Little squire. We just need one a bit bigger. First cast though. bit small again. Definitely another squire, but just feels a little bit small, eh? Yeah. We're on them though, we're on them. Oh, that was a hit on the on the um, hop. Let's sink back down. Yep. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. This reef there. That's a good fish. Go reverse. That's a legal fish for sure. Woo! Come on. Come on. 
I don't think he's a huge fish, but he's definitely a legal fish and I'm only running very, very light line. He's tiny. We'll net him, but I can't believe I was just on the engine backing that thing out. Oh, he's better, but he's still not that big. We'll see. We'll put him on the measure. That's right to the tip. 36 centimetres. Oh, yes. That's going to be dinner. I'm sorry, mate, but I need... I need dinner. That's going to be really good eating. Yep. Only a little one. Damn, it's still around though. And that's the new, new... Oh no, it's another... Oh no, it's a grinner. Not what we want. Oh man, I just had the most epic little moment out here. I was looking at the sunset. I did a cast, let it sink down, and I got a really nice snapper. I'll give you guys a nice look at this fish. I'll hold him up, but I can't believe I didn't have it videoing, man. Nice snapper. That's, I don't know, I'll give it a measure, but I will be releasing him. So it's a very lucky, very lucky fish. Get that hook out and let him go. Yeah, snapper. Very little snapper, but legal. Pop him there. We'll need those. Brussels sprouts, asparagus. Might, might take an apple up, that'll be dessert. Oh, that, that, one, that might go really well with it, hey. Garlic aioli. Take a cup of waters as well. Guys, one fillet. All right. Two beautiful snapper fillets. They're ready to go. Okay guys, so I'm just getting the veggies all organized. I'm gonna leave those ones for tomorrow actually. So put those aside for now. Sprouts in first. I'll take the longest. Oh. Whoop. oh yeah, that's gonna be so good. Garlic in there. Alright, let's put a bit of salt on this um on this snap I feel it. Got a little bit of uh Parsley as well. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. Hey, I'm just gonna let the flavor speak for itself. Wow, it's good. Oh, that's, that's so tasty. Yep, it's good.
Oh, it's a juicy lemon. Yeah, we'll save that for tomorrow. Alrighty. And that's definitely cooked. Yeah, that's that's cooked really well. This one broken half. It's all good. It's not about the presentation. It's about the flavour. There's a bone there. Thought I got most of the bones out. Really need a spatula to get this out without breaking. I don't really mind. Yeah, salt and pepper. As always. There we go. We've got a bit of snapper there. Cooked with parsley and garlic. Sorry, oh, well, there will be a bit of garlic. Oh, yeah, there will be a bit of garlic flavour in that. Um, I ended up not putting the garlic powder on the fish, but we've got fresh garlic cooked with the veggies. It's time to eat. That's beautiful. That's really nice. That really is delicious, hey? Oh, it's good. It's really good. It's got a little bit of um, Brussels sprout. Oh, really soft. It's just tasty, tasty food right there. All right, I think that's most of the sand off my feet. Number one priority when you're camping is to get the sand off the feet. Alrighty guys, it's about 10 o'clock, been chilling around camp and it's time to go to bed. So, I'm going to wake up as the sun's rising and see where the day takes me. See you in the morning. Oh, what a morning. Morning guys. Oh. Oh. Hardly any wind this morning. Working up to the birds and um Yeah, had a pretty good sleep last night. It was pretty chilly but I stayed pretty warm in my sleeping bag. Ended up having to put put socks on in the middle of the night because my feet were freezing. Nest Cafe hazelnut latte this morning. Creamy and throffy. While that water was boiling, I started just taking taking some of my gear to the boat. So I've only got the deck chair to pack up, this table, the cooker, and this this container with all my stuff in it. So I'm just going to enjoy my coffee and we'll go fishing. Apart from my feet absolutely being frozen right now, this morning is just couldn't be better. I gotta keep moving them in case they get frostbite. fishing spot first things first I need to put these on because my feet are absolutely frozen man well we got something just hooked up didn't have the camera running as I wasn't really getting any oh that's not that's not the desirable species that's a big dirty gooner 
thought it was fighting a bit funny, eh? At least he hasn't completely swallowed it and destroyed my leader. It's a big grin of art. I've got something here. Feels like another grinner, I think. It's getting plagued by grinner and pike, eh? Hey? Yeah. It's grinners, man. Seriously. There's a fish. Very little fish. Ah, we've got Grinner and Pike, lovely. Didn't really have too much luck with the fishing rod. I got a few Grinner and Pike. Not the desirable species. Gonna have a throw of the squid jig in the shallows here and try and get a squid. And then I might think about getting in the water. It makes me even more cold just thinking about jumping in, but I know when I get the wetsuit on and I get in, it, it won't be too bad, so. And the water's really nice and clear today as well. So I've been fishing the last probably three hours. Did a little bit of soft plastics fishing for the snapper, but didn't get any. Tried to squid just then, but didn't get any. So I'm gonna shoot to a completely new area and try my luck in the water. I'll see you when I get there. Gonna put the wetsuit on and jump in. It's still pretty, pretty cold, but um, I'm sure when I put the wetsuit on and get in the water, it won't be too bad, hopefully. Anyway, the conditions right now are amazing. So I'm gonna punch it to a new, a new ground. I'll see you when I get there. Wow, this looks good, bro. Wow. Just gonna find a nice sandy patch to put the anchor on. But this looks, this is magic. Just dropping the anchor on some sand here. Behind me's the reef. Gee, that's good viz. I'm excited, guys. This is. This is my chance to get dinner right here and then I'm going straight out to that island in the distance. If it stays glassy like this it's going to be a magic trip across. So fingers crossed. But for now we need to get in the water and we need to get, get ourselves to fish for, for dinner. Probably could have taken that little tusky there. Don't know if you would have seen it, but that was a tusky that came on in. Would have been legal, but it was pretty small. Thank <laughs> you. 
camped here before so I've got to suss out where to camp I'm pretty sure you can camp all along this sandy beach here I also need to just make sure I can get the boat out tomorrow morning but it's coming on high tide now so I should be able to get right up onto the shore and find a good spot to camp the night these stingrays look there's rays everywhere another ray wow EA this is a special place. Never camped here before, but I think I'll be back. All right, I've seen a sign. This looks like a campground. There's a fireplace. Someone's had a fire here. This definitely looks like a camp, camping area, hey. Yeah, another, another fire here. This is awesome. This is definitely a camp spot. I'm glad I took the time to kept, keep looking because the spots that I pulled into up further were, were no good. It was literally like you'd be camping on the, um, on the tracks where people drive. So, this is awesome. Tents all set up, sun's going down. Stunning afternoon. Just gonna get all my stuff organized and chill out. It's been a big day. I'm pretty tired, but I'm very hungry. I was thinking of cooking on the fire, but I've got that gold spot sweet lip and I don't really have a cast iron plate or anything like that to put on the coals. So I'm gonna cook the fish and the veggies on the, on the pan again. I'm also really hungry and I wanna get a Get a bit of a meal going now so i'll do the cook up this afternoon as that sun's setting and we will have a fire a little bit later on to keep me nice and warm but for now i just got to go and um go and fill up that gold spot sweet lip and start getting dinner ready it's a magic afternoon out here so good mighty gold spot sweet lip not too bad that meat hey like you bleed the fish you eat it fresh I don't mind these man There's one Garlic powder again. Parsley. I'm also going to do chili flakes.
Put some freshly chopped garlic in there as well. Woo. Yeah, good. There we have it guys, dinner is served. Gold spot sweet lip and veggies again. It's gonna taste pretty good I reckon. Let's have a bit of the fish. It's not even bad, eh? Like, people say that this fish is not good. Look at that. You probably can't see that well with the light, but... That's good. Very similar to snapper. Very similar to the snapper that I had last night. Interesting. All right, guys. I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna get that fire going. I'm looking forward to that. Keep my feet nice and warm. It's really good with the lime juice too. That's a nice little touch. A bit different to the lemon. I rate that. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. The mighty gold spot sweet lip produces. <laughs> oh. That's so good. As soon as that sun dropped, it started to get really chilly. Well, thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update. It is 20 to 9. And the last few hours I've just been sitting here, keeping warm, enjoying this fire, enjoying the stars, which you're not going to be able to see on the GoPro, but they're pretty good out here. There is a few lights around the area, so they're not, well, they're better than at home, that's for sure. And it's just beautiful out here. There's very little wind still, which is very good and no bugs it's beautiful a couple things on my mind though the boat's high and dry and part of me thinks i should have put it a little bit deeper just because i'm gonna have to be up at the crack of dawn um to make sure i get the boat before it beaches again and i get stuck here all day the other part of me is a little worried because I've got 10% battery on my phone and that means well it needs to get me it needs to be good in the morning so I have a backup alarm in case I don't wake up so apart from that loving it loving it so yeah I'll catch you guys in the morning bright and early Oh, it's the alarm. Oh, it was my alarm. And guys, good morning, guys. Good morning. From the tinny. You may be wondering why am I sleeping on the boat? 
I'll tell you why. So I got up at three o'clock in the morning. Like I said, I was I had to be up early to make sure the boat didn't get beached. And it was sitting in about one foot of water. So I had two options, pack up camp, um, and then bring the boat out or just chill out here in some deeper water. I've just anchored the boat in a few meters of water and brought my sleeping bag and my pillow. I can't stretch my legs out completely, but I'll tell you, I've been sleeping out here for the last three hours and it's not bad. I reckon I might do this more often. I'll try and find a way to be able to sleep completely lengthways so I can stretch my legs out. But yeah, all the other option was to bring the boat out into a couple meters of water and then swim back to the shore. But I didn't really feel like doing that while it was still dark. So yeah, I'm gonna just chill for a little bit longer. Wait for that sun to creep up over the island. So it's a bit warmer and then I'll head back into camp and make a coffee and start packing up. A little bit of a camp out in the tinny. How good. Alrighty, you're gonna load the boat up and then uh, I think I might have a coffee out on the water. So I'm not stressing about getting beached. Oh, what a morning. Someone's beach, there's a yacht, a big yacht over there on its side. I saw them trying to get it off this morning. They had a big boat come and try and pull them out, but obviously they didn't have any luck. So they're gonna come back. I think they missed the high though. The tide started dropping. All right, let's get this camp packed up. I actually didn't think I had any coffee left until I had a little search in the in the sides of the boat and I found this old Bacono Macona cappuccino. You beauty. Where's my spoon at? You know what? I don't think I have one. Here's my spoon. That's good. That's really good. Alrighty guys, it's time for me to head back. What a little trip that was. Had a good time. Hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed doing it. And yeah, I've got to go in that direction. There's a little bit of wind, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to shoot back now before it picks up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'll probably take you along with me. And if I see anything, or I, hopefully I see those tuna again. But if I don't, I'll, um, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, guys.